At the end of this topic, you should be able to determine the basic feasible solution for the maximization transportation problem using least cost method. So what is a maximization transportation problem? So there are certain types of transportation problems where the objective function is to maximize instead of minimize. So most transportation problems are related to the minimizing the cost of transportation, but some problems are there where we need to maximize the profit. So this kind of a problem can be solved by converting the maximization problem into minimization problem and we are going to see how to do that. We will be using least cost method to solve the transportation problem with the help of one example. A company has three factories X, Y, Z located in cities XYZ these factories supply the supply to the four dealers A B C D the dealers are spread all over the country the production capacity of these factories is given with certain capacity and the net return per unit is given with the following table determine the suitable allocation to maximize the total return now whenever a transportation problem is given in an exam the first and important check to to perform is to check whether this is a minimization problem or maximization problem so if the problem is maximization we have to take a different approach what more data is given in the problem is that each source factory so, so there are three source factories xyz and there are four destinations a b c d now what is the capacity of this x source so capacity of x source is 1000 units capacity of y source is 700 units and capacity of z source is 900 unit also the demand at destination a or dealer a is 900 demand by the B is 800, demand by the C is 500 and demand by the D is 400. The second check that we need to perform whenever solving the transportation problem is to check whether the problem is balanced or unbalanced. Now here you can see that the sum of total supply and sum of total demand are matching to each other and they are 2600. So this problem is a balanced transportation problem. If it is not so, we have to take a different approach. Now, we need to convert the maximization problem into minimization problem. So, here we have been asked to maximize the profit, right? So, we can convert it into problem where we will minimize the loss. Now, what are these quantities are given? So, what is the six? Six is the profit when you supply one product from this x to a right right okay so if i look for the such a opportunity where i get the maximum profit so in this total matrix 8 is the figure which is having the maximum value so what is the meaning of this 8 is that if i supply one product from factory z to D dealer I get the maximum profit okay so I want to now maximize the profit so minimize the loss so what is the loss loss of not supplying this product to this cell right so what I can do now this if I say 8 minus 6 will be the loss if I don't transport uh, with this condition okay so converting this sale according to this now what i will do i will subtract all these values from 8 okay all over this sales so i will get a matrix something like this right okay and i can reduce this matrix to something like this so now what is this 2 2 is the loss i am performing by transporting product X 
transporting one product from X to A and I want to minimize that loss. So the maximization problem is now converted into minimization problem and we can solve this problem with the least cost method with our usual approach. Now I have modified this matrix so that this 2, 2, 2 are the unit loss, loss for each thing so it is very similar to the transportation cost in our regular transportation problem and I have mentioned it in one corner so that I can utilize this space for the making the allocations. Now to use the list cost method I will be looking for the minimum cost. Now in this total matrix what is the minimum cost? So minimum cost is of course this zero and how much products I can allocate over here. So the supply is of 900 but demand is of only 400 so maximum 400 I can allocate over here so it will it will be like this so this total demand is exhausted and uh, the supply will reduce to 500 right and this demand will reduce to zero and I don't need to allocate anything further in this column so I will mark cross over here now out of this remaining matrix what is the minimum cost so one is the minimum cost and how much I can allocate over here now the demand is of 500 and supply is of also 500 so I will allocate 500 and now the demand and supply at this particular junction has been exhausted right so I will mark cross over here now I will also mark cross over here also now moving to the next now what is the minimum cost over here now there is a tie between these two so here is also two and here is also two I will allocate to that sale which where I can allocate maximum so how much I can allocate over here so though the supply is of thousand here the demand is of 900 and here is it of it is of 800 so I will allocate in this sale right so I will allocate 900 over here so this will reduce to 100 right so this will be exhausted and it will only have a 100 remaining and this 900 will be totally satisfied right so this column I can mark as crossed now out of these two remaining I don't have much of the choice it has a demand of 800 and total supply of 700 plus 100 so that is 800 so I will allocate both the things over there right so now I have got the now this uh, as we are allocating 700 over here so it will reduce to zero now here is a question for you whether all the constraints related to the demand and supply are satisfied or not pause the video and try to give the answer to this question i hope that you must have given a try now before we calculate the actual profit let us see whether all the demand and supply constraints are satisfied or not so this 900 plus 100 should be equal to 1000 and it is so so the particular this row constraint has been satisfied now this 700 which is equal to this figure so this row constraint is also satisfied and 500 plus 400 which gives me figure of 900 so these two figures are matching so I can say that this row constraint has been satisfied now looking for the column constraint 900 is equal to 900 100 plus 700 gives me 800 so it is also satisfied 500 equal to 500 and 400 equal to 400 so I can say that all the supply constraint and demand constraint have been satisfied now how do we calculate the profit now total profit will be given by right but now you have to make sure that you are taking the figures from the original problem and not one we have modified so this 6 was the profit right and not the loss right so this 8 was the profit made over here and not the loss right so we you need to modify these figures and make uh, and take the allocations what what we have made now how we calculate the profit 
so the profit will be given by this 900 so what is this 900 900 is the figure these are the number of products i am transporting from source x to destination a and each product will give me a profit of 6 so total profit for this particular transaction will be 6 into 900 similarly for the next allocation it will be 6 into 100 plus for next allocation it will be 2 plus 700 plus 7 into 500 plus 8 into 400 and that will give me a total profit of 14100 and this is your final answer thank you